stressors such as declining blood pressure due to blood loss or strong emotional reactions stimulate the production of a hypothalamic releasing hormone, cortisol releasing hormone, CRH, as well as adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH. In turn, these hormones stimulate the production of the hormone cortisol in the zona fasciculate cells of the adrenal cortex. Cortisol binds to muscle and liver cells. It causes muscle cells to break down protein and liberate amino acids into the bloodstream. The liver uses the amino acids to produce more glucose. Increased glucose is delivered to cells and organs so stress can be resisted. Cortisol binds to smooth muscle in blood vessels. It causes vasoconstriction, which counteracts a drop in blood pressure due to blood loss. Blood flow is maintained during stress. Cortisol binds to macrophages and lymphocytes. An increase in cortisol inhibits a macrophage's production of inflammatory producing chemicals, which helps reduce swelling in tissues. In addition, it inhibits proliferation of lymphocytes, reducing the immune response. In summary, cortisol promotes the breakdown of proteins for increased gluconeogenesis, vasoconstriction to raise blood pressure and blood flow, and suppression of immune responses. The overall result of these actions is greater ability of the body to resist stress.